Link. Link. Wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. Have you, have you come to your senses yet? You were surprisingly dull-witted. <laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural as wide as the world is. I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the King of Red Lions. Do not fear, I am not your enemy. Sir Link, I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you a courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands the monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He opt he who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods have failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link. Do you still wish to save your sister from him? Yes. And you will do anything to save her, will you? Of course. I see. In that case, I shall give, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on the, on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great p in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Uh, I think I do, but he obviously agrees, so I guess I'm going to agree too. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Uh, ah, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress on this island. It is a town of merchants who deal a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you, sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this for you, but without a sail, I'll be useless to you. This island of merchants, uh, merchant, uh, merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavours at sea. So listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as you events as soon as your events are done. Well probably may do, probably may not, as far as I can honestly say is Hello everybody to the Shotgun into one thousand even pointing for Chew T. Welcome you back to another episode of the Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker H D As we've just been taken to Windfall Island after being chucked away from a bird in the Forsaken Fortress. And yeah, that's actually what did happen in the last episode, but I decided to show it again at the start of this episode, which is why my introduction was obviously so late. So anyway, in the last episode, you saw me um, travelling through the Forsaken Fortress and obviously met our sister, but we wasn't able to save her. And in this episode, we're going to be doing a lot of travelling, starting off with Windfall Island, of course. Windfall Island is also known as the home to many certain things. And I can tell you, there are many, many things on your journey that you desperately, desperately, desperately want to get. Believe me. But, 
Uh, oh god, don't even bother talking to that guy. Oh, actually, actually, yeah, yeah, never mind. Oh, oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of all. Um, okay. Oh, my sweet, sweet daughter. My only daughter, poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Or are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Oh, crud. Hey, what's your language, Buster? What's your language? Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know. Please, please, let's save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here I stand begging. I hope you give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh, yes, pray. So, yeah, um, that man right there always hangs around underneath the tree. And I can honestly tell you, he is a joke. A genuine joke. Uh, by the way, um, there is one thing. There is a shop you actually do need to go to, which is that shop over there. But before you go over there, you need to go in this door. Believe me. You want to go in here, and you can see there is a guy sitting in a cell. So let's talk to him. Mm -hmm. I see the same green clothes as the, and the same green hat. By the look of you, I say, sir. Could you by chance be a fairy? <laughs> God sake, really? Goodness, did you hear my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry, Tingle knows without you telling him. So, yes, sir. Tingle is my name and joking around is my game. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I have been looking for you and your kind so uh, for I too long to be one with the fairy folk. And yet I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind life in Splendor. Well, here's the thing. There's a switch over there. And this is one thing that I genuinely have no freaking clue. You press the switch to help him get out. And because of rescuing him, you will be given something very special. Not really, of course, because I don't because it's something I never really use. Hooray, thank you oh, so very much. Here is Tingle's heartful, um, heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle, Kulimpa! And become an item. And he does the You Got The Thing pose with us. Great. But yep, we got something that I probably may find to be completely and utterly pointless. This is a Tingle Bottle. You can use these to buy whatever you want on Miiverse. In the GameCube version you are given a different item, but I don't actually know exactly the name of the item. You can set it to either Y, X or R, and whenever you touch it, using Y, X or R, you can post a Me First post wherever you are, whenever you are. Mr. Fairy, are you familiar with Me First? Why, yes I am, but please tell me more. With it, messages put in this bottle can be sent to fairies the world over. A communion of minds, hearts beating as one. And why have actually got a heart box in the heart? Uh, well, that, that came out wrong, uh, never mind. Just don't write anything unpleasant, okay? Not that I have to remind you, Mr. Fairy. <laughs> Splendid, Tingo is returning now to his own special island. Will you come find him? I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Uh, don't you? 
The one thing I can honestly say about this, and the answer is no, I do not. But we probably may have to later on. So yeah, he gives us something else. He gives us a tingle chart. This chart is one of a kind. It actually tells you the location of his island, but fortunately, I actually know where it is. Open it on the map screen. If you ever need any help with your charge, just leave it a tingle. Don't ever forget it. And if you'd like to give your tingle bottles that little extra oomph that that old tingles crave, you should check the back of its uh, the, there, the back of this cell. Check it right out. Now it says the back. Oh, sorry. It says, here, right, it says here on the Wii U gamepad, you can now send letters in Tingle Bottles by using me first. Uh, to set the Tingle Bottle by the press button I just mentioned. And you can also, oh yeah, and also, right, so let's see. Now, what I'm going to do here is that, just like the Runaway Guys do in Super Mario 3D World and also New Super Mario Bros. U, I'm going to set Allow Tingle Bottles for me first on anyone. And allow tingle bottles with spoilers. I'm gonna hit don't receive because I don't want you guys to feel spoiled on my LPs whenever I do come across one. And but you know one thing I find annoying is the fact that even though you say do not receive bot tingle bottles with spoilers, and yet. You actually pick up a tingle bottle and yet it still has a spoiler even though you asked it not to. I have actually witnessed that too many times, mainly in New Super Mario Bros. U, which I will do an LP on soon. Either on my own or with my two friends on the Shockerella's channel. So I'm going to hit don't receive. Yep. Okay, doke. Now we go into the cell, and yeah, there is actually a blue rupee hidden underneath Tingle's bed. But here's the reason why I found this annoying. You had to press a button to help Tingle out, yet you could have just grabbed this box, push it forward, and there was a hole behind it. What is in this hole? Well, we'll soon find out in the next episode. So next time on Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. So I know we didn't do much exploring in that. But you can't help the fact that whenever somebody is doing an LP episode and desperately wants to use a toilet. Uh, you kind of don't want them to like cut the whole video off in that. So next time on Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. We're going to explore the um, Windfall Island even more. Okay, see you guys then.